going on guys it's Anis and welcome to this new video where we're going to see um, how to prepare for OSCP so OSCP for the people who don't know what it is it's a, a certification from uh, offensive security offensive security is the same company that creates um, uh, Kali Linux and other uh, really helpful tools for pen, pen testers and security uh, staff. Um, so OSCP is one of the well-known certifications in the field and if you are considering um, taking these certifications there are some points that you uh, might uh, find interesting and we are going to talk about that in this video. So the first thing that you want to uh, do while preparing for the exam is of course taking the lab that offensive security offers on their uh, platform uh, the the content is divided in two parts uh, the first one is uh, theory theoret theoretical content if you want and uh, the second part is the labs and the labs are practical the practical side of the exam um, the the lab is really interesting but there is a, a really a more efficient way if you want to practice for the exam and this is doing of course ctfs so um, i find it more useful to use uh, platforms like htb hack the box or try hack me uh, to prepare for the exam and um, for example, THM, TryHackMe have a specific path for OSCP. So you can use that to uh, train your, uh, your mind to solving CTFs and solving boxes really quick because the exam is uh, time-based, of course, and uh, you want to have this hands-on uh, practice on platforms like HTB, Pentester Lab, and TryHackMe. So this is really, really important. The second thing is uh, uh, adding to the first one, the uh, CTF thing. The second one, the second uh, interesting point that I want I want to dis uh, discuss in this video is the fact that um, you need to read, read a lot of walkthroughs, articles about that, especially for people who. Uh, have done the exam and passed it and even uh, articles from people who, who didn't get the exam so uh, it's uh, interesting to see um, the uh, pitfalls that people make and the mistakes that people make so you can avoid that uh, in the exam especially if you are someone who is uh, who gets nervous uh, during exam times and st stuff like that so uh, I found it really important to do that also. So second point is to read uh, for people who have done it. So I guess this is it for this video. Uh, if you have other suggestions, you can put it in the comment section. Uh, the blue button, press it. Don't forget that. And we're going to see you in this next video. Peace.